Hello everyone, welcome to Global Online Trainings. Today we are going to discuss about one of the testing software testing technique that is nothing but a black box testing. If you want to register for this course, please email us to info at globalonlinetrainings.com or even you can call us on plus nine one four zero six zero five zero one four one eight or even you can catch up us on Skype at global.online trainings and you can call us on the respective USA and UK numbers. Global Online Trainings To give an overview, Global Online Trainings is a leading training service corporation specialization in providing online trainings and corporate trainings to individuals and enterprises. Our high quality, competitive and effective training services makes us best in this field. Our professional team carries some excellent instructional experience through many years and understands the complexity of technology and method of training delivery. We provide the training with a subject matter experts who has a good experience in the primary skills. Currently, we have more tutors in all technologies for online trainings and corporate trainings. We provide the training for the below technologies, for example, SAP All Models, Oracle All Models, SAS All Models, IBM Tools, Microsoft Applications, Web Technologies and other technologies and middleware tools. Black Box Testing Training Course Introduction Black Box Testing Training is a method of software testing that examine the functionality of an application without, peer, without peering into its external structures of working. Black box testing training methods of test can be apl applied to the virtual le every level of software testing, unit interaction systems and acceptance. A black box software tester selects a set of valid, valid and invalid inputs and code execution conditions and check for the valid output response. Global Online Trainings offers a black, black box testing training online classes with a flex of advantages and without, with most reasonable fee. Black box testing training tutorials made here are within best industry updates. To know more details about this model, call or email to help desk. Black box testing is just a testing application without bothering about the programming language developer is using how converting the inputs into outputs etc. Here we just test the applications as a user by giving the different sets of the test data or the applications to check the application performance of the application based on the outputs. After that we will check whether the output is received is up to our expectations. If not there might be some bug in the applications which is reported back to the developer in the form of an excel sheet has a testing error. The bug you need to represent simply like the actual output it is not equal to the expected output then we can report it as a bug to the developer. The black box testing is also named, named as closed box testing, functionality testing and the behavioral testing. The black box testing is also known as closed box testing. Simply the box is closed or the application is closed. That, that means we cannot go into the application, we just test it as an user. For example, if you are testing for the Gmail login that will, uh, that will ask to provide a username and password. Here we, here we perform the testing in two scenarios. First we will give the valid username and password and check on the and click on the sign in. If we sign in properly then we can assure that the first scenario is working properly. In the second case we will provide the invalid username and password and then it should show us the error like enter a valid username or password. If it gets login without showing the error then we can send it as a bug to the developer. Here the box is closed. We can just test the application without knowing its features. Next comes the black box testing functionality testing. Here we'll test the functionality of the application in the same way as we did for the closed box testing. Likewise, we discussed in the closed box testing for the Gmail login. If we give a valid username and password, then it should log in. If we give invalid username and password, then it should not be login. Next comes black box testing or the behavioral testing. Here it is to check 
behavior of the application by providing the different sets of input data. Different inputs are tested onto the application to calculate the proper working of the application. Types of black box testing. Black box testing is broadly divided into four types. Usability testing, functionality testing, security testing and the performance testing. The black box testing training on usability testing. It's a type of testing where it focuses and more concern about the user interface. To test how much attractive the user interface is, how much good and how much friendly my user interface is. Simply we can say to check the look of application in the user point of view. As the main purpose of the creating the application or the website is to generate traffic to the application so that more people visit our application or website if look and feel of the application is good. As every organization want people to visit their application not only once but they want the people to revisit again and again. If this, this is possible if and only if we have the user friendly application because the people visiting our application should not find any complications. The visitor should get the prompt result or information in our application which is looking for without any complications. Types of usability testing. User interface testing and manual support testing. Here the application, sh the application should have a user friendly interface. The customer should be able to access application easily again. Again in a focus on three main factors like easy to use, look and feel and the quick interface. Easy to use, the application should be easy to use. To verify that the application is easy to use or not, Microsoft has given six rules for this. First rule is control should be well defined and the purpose of every control should be clear. And the control should be truncated or wabbed. Control should be properly paced and should not be overlapped. Control should provide a complete description in, in tin cap. First letter of every word should be capital. Spelling checking, no spelling mistakes. System menu, shortcut menu, right click menu. Look and look and feel. Application should maintain consistency in terms of font, fonts and colors. And quick interface. Application should provide a quick navigation. Application must have mostly frequent pages. Appearing has a link at the top. Whatever the client looking for should be able to get the information quickly and easily. Next come is the manual support testing. Application should have properly documented manual or help document. All the features should be clearly mentioned in the manual. Next comes here is a black box testing training on the functionality testing. Executing the application for verifying its functionalities. For example, to check the login functionality of gmail.com. Enter a valid credentials and then check if able to log in or not. And entering the invalid credentials and then checking what happens and checking if not displaying the user friendly error message on the screen. Types of functionality testing. The functionality testing. It is also known as positive testing. Entering the valid username and valid password. Checking if able to log in or not. Error handling. It is also known as a negative testing. Entering the invalid credentials and checking if able to log in or not and checking for the user friendly error messages on the screen. Compatibility testing. It is also known as a software compatibility. Application is verified for the compa compatibility with the three things. Browser compatibility, database compatibility and operating system compatibility. Browser compatibility, the application should work perfectly on the client process. Application should be compatibility with the client database. And coming to the operation system compatibility, application should be compatible with the client operating systems. Next is a black box testing on the security tape. Security testing. Black box should be secure. Application should be secure. Private or sensitive information should not be leaked out. Application should maintain trust of the customers by giving them sense that their information in a, is in safe hands. Black box testing training on the performance testing. Verifying the performance of the application under the customer expectations. Application should not crash when undergoes a customer expected load. In the types of performance testing, load testing, checking the performance and the customer expected load and the trust checking, checking the performance above the customer expected load by the continuous increasing the stress. 
Here is a course outline for the SAP black box testing. Course name is SAP black box testing training and the duration is for 35 hours. The mode of training is online virtual classes and corporate timings are according to the advanced feasibility and system access will be provided during SAP BI training. Batches are regular weekends and fast tracks and trainings will get the soft copy material in the form of PDF or Word. And the session will be conducted through WebEx, GoToMeeting or maybe through Skype and the basic requirements are good internet speed along with the headsets. To register for the black box testing training and global online trainings, type www.globalonlinetrainings in any of the web browser. You will find the global online training page. Click on the option called request a demo option in the menu bar. Fill the contact as well and click on the send option. Or else you can even leave, you can also leave a message to us by using the pop-up box at the bottom left corner of the website. Let us visit to the landing page for, for black box testing before ending up this. Here you find is a landing page for black box testing. Here it is a course content, introduction to test types, uh, application or uh, building decision tables for testing, working with the sta state transaction diagrams, implementing the domain testing application, the orthogonal arrays and, uh, and page for testing, performance reactive testing or the black box testing overview along with the uh, different names for black box testing and the black box testing types and it's usable and it's uh, and the outline of the black box testing and you can even even if you find a request or demo option and leave a message pop up box where you can directly send us a request to register for this course you can reach us on www.globalonlinetrainings.blackboxtestingtraining or you can email us to info at global online trainings thank you so much for attending the demo session and have a nice day